Nobutora Samurai Tiger is a newer samurai film that released in 2021. As you could tell from the title, this film is based on the historical figure of Nobutora. He was the father of the famous Warring States period general, Takeda Shingen. Here's the basic premise of the film. So Takeda Shingen has proven himself in battle, but there's an even more capable person in his family and that is his father, Nobutora. So eventually, Takeda Shingen exiles his own father, Nobutora, and he ends up going to serve the Ashikaga Shogun in Kyoto. Decades pass, and Nobutora is now 80 years old. He learns that his son is in trouble, and so he decides to return home to keep the Takeda family alive. And as this is going on, there's a new leader that wants to take leadership of the Takada family. And so he starts a fight with the great warlord, Oda Nobunaga. So this was a movie that I received from SamuraiDVD.com. I found it as I was looking through some of the new releases. And the cover of this looked really cool, so I just chose it. So, in case you haven't seen any of my videos, SamuraiDVD.com is basically the best place to buy any Samurai movies. And it really should be the first place that I recommend looking. You could sometimes find some stuff on Amazon or eBay, but really they only have the real well-known stuff. SamuraiDVD.com just has like everything. Their selection of films can't be found anywhere else. So if you're ever looking for a film and you can't find it, sure enough, it's there. Also, you can use the discount code Bushido Blues at checkout. Get yourself a nice discount. So like I said, I picked this up basically just because I thought the cover looked really cool. And because it was a newer movie. There's not too many new samurai films. I feel like a lot of them I'm just watching from the 60s. But what was even more intriguing to me when I chose it is that this is a historical account of a real figure. I do know some Japanese history, and it's mostly just stuff that I learned from YouTube, from channels like The Shogunate. And I'm really always just looking to learn more about history, so if you know any other great channels, just leave them in the comments. But just like the title, this film follows the real character of Nobutora. This was the father that Shingen exiled. And what this movie does best is just letting you know who this character is and what he was like. We see him mostly as an old man when he is 80 years old. And then you'll get some flashbacks of him younger. One thing I really didn't know about him though was just how he was very spiritual. In fact, in this film it often shows him just casting spells almost on people and what's weird too is like his spells seem like they work so he definitely seemed like an interesting guy but what this film exactly is is it's more of a history lesson with some few bloody action sequences basically it's heavy on history and exposition and low on entertainment which is unfortunate I will say the fights are well done, but the acting isn't so great, in fact it's kind of goofy. Overall it feels a lot like a 4 TV movie. The tone itself is very light, in fact I would have preferred this to be more like gritty and definitely more action. But what we do get is a full on history lesson, so if you like history you might like this. And it's a long film, it's over two hours. And I do admit I had some trouble getting through the entire thing. But still, I did get something out of it and that was education. I learned all about Nobutora and just what was going on then. As to how accurate this depiction is, I can't really answer that. But besides the history, it also had very nice scenery. And it's just a very polished looking film. And actually, there's a surprising amount of blood in it when there actually is fights. It's quite interesting how they did it too. I couldn't really tell in some cases where it was fake blood or CGI. But that's pretty much it. I don't really have much else to say about this film. It is an interesting bit of history. And there is some drama in it, especially in how the Takada clan fell. 
there's some dramatic moments with that. It also made me realize just how formidable Nobunaga was. I mean, he seemed pretty unstoppable. I mean, I wouldn't want to go up against him. And most of this film is just them trying to come up with plans on how to take him down. And as for what I learned from the character of Nobutura, he seemed like a pretty interesting guy. Someone I'd like to hang out with. He seemed very knowledgeable and definitely important to the Takada clan. I just wish that this film just did a better job of keeping me entertained. So if you want an educational but kind of low on entertainment depiction of the Takada clan, then check this one out maybe. Otherwise, there's plenty of other more entertaining samurai films that you could be watching instead. Anyway, I'll leave a link in the description on where you could get this film. Also, there's many other samurai films on this website, some really great ones. And don't forget to use the discount code Bushido Blues at checkout. Anyway, like always, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.